Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube account here in 2013. If you didn't know, YouTube is actually owned by Google. So in order to create a YouTube account, you actually have to create a Google account and if you already have a Google account, all you have to do is log in with your Google account, go ahead and go to YouTube.com and you'll notice at the top right of your screen, you'll actually notice that your whole toolbar on top is the same, but at the top right of your screen, you will be logged into YouTube with your Google account. If you don't, however, have a Google or YouTube account, I'm going to show you everything you need to know right now. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so here I am on YouTube.com, and if you were logged into either your Google account or YouTube account, they're going to be the same thing, you would see your username up here at the top right. But because we are not currently logged in, we just have this sign in button. And as I mentioned in the intro, a YouTube account is the same thing as a Google account. There's no way to just create a YouTube account without creating a Google account. It's the same exact thing. So when you do create this account for YouTube, you're also going to have access to Gmail, Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Sites, Google Plus, all of the Google services. You don't have to use any of them, but you will be able to if you want. And there are a number of ways to get to the account creation screen. I'm going to show you how to do it through YouTube since that's the primary service that you're looking to use. Uh, but again, there are multiple ways you could get to the page that we're about to see next. So at YouTube.com to create an account, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sign in button. Obviously we don't have an account to sign into, but once we go to that screen, you'll notice it's going to prompt us for an email and a password, which we don't have yet for YouTube. But at the top right, we have a section where it says new to YouTube, create an account. And that's exactly what we want to do. So when I click on the big red create an account button here on YouTube, it's going to take me to the Google creation screen. This is a Google account creation screen. Now you can see that this screen is somewhat customized for YouTube. It's saying that your Google account is more than just YouTube and it's going to tell you all the stuff I just told you that you can use it with all these other Google services. So you're just going to go ahead and fill out this information over here on the right. So I'm just going to quickly do it. we will say it's Anson Alex. I want my Google username to be Anson Alex test at gmail.com. That's fine. Um, it's going to add that at gmail.com for you automatically. You can't change that. So you are just choosing the part that comes before at gmail.com. And you're going to go ahead and create a password for your account. So I'll create a password and I'll enter it twice. Oh, I guess oh, that works. Or maybe my password is not long enough. So you do have to create a secure password. That's for your own benefit. I know it can get annoying sometimes. As you can see, I did it wrong the first time there. but uh, it definitely will help make sure that your account is secure. So you can see once you enter a password that is accepted by Google, you won't see any error messages in this section of the create account screen here. So go ahead and enter your birthday. Uh, obviously that probably doesn't really have to be true. I'm just going to enter a random year here. I was not born in 76, believe it or not, but that's okay. That's my birthday for now. And I am a male. And you can go ahead and enter your mobile phone number. It'll tell you to the left here that your mobile number helps keep your account secure, which is true. If your account is hacked and it gets suspended or locked down because Google thinks your account has been hacked, they will actually send you a text message to verify. So you're probably going to want to enter your real phone number here. They're not going to start spam calling you and offering you all these things. I never get calls from Google, but it will help lock down your account. So I'm not going to enter my real number here either. I'm just going to enter a random number, not a random number, but uh, it's not my number because I don't think you all need to know my phone number out there. And then you go ahead and enter your current email address. And I actually have one. I created an account because I needed an email address that wasn't already a Google address. So I am just Anson Alex at Outlook.com. Don't send any emails there. I'm never going to check that account. It just exists for tutorial purposes. And then you need to verify that you aren't a robot by entering the scrambled text. I know that this can be hard to read sometimes if you have to go ahead and hit the refresh button over here on the right and it'll give you a new set of text to enter. I think I can read this okay, so let's see. That looks good to me. And I'm located in the United States. 
You can decide whether or not you want Google to use your account information to personalize plus ones on content and ads on non-Google websites. What they're really saying right there is, can we show you advertisements related to previous searches that you've done? A lot of people really hate that. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't want tailored ads to me. I don't want them to market me like that. I actually like it. I'd rather see advertisements for things that I'm actually looking for and that I might use. Uh, so that's up to you. If you're kind of weary about it, go ahead and uncheck it. It's not that hard to do. And then go ahead and hit next step. Oh, you have to agree to the terms of service. I would recommend reading through the terms of service and privacy policy. Uh, it's, it's a lot to read through, I know, but I tend to be one of those people that likes to read what I'm signing up for, or else you could be in for a surprise later on. Now, obviously, you're probably going to sign up for this either way, but uh, at least as a disclaimer for my tutorial, please read the terms of service and privacy policy. I am not responsible for anything that happens with your YouTube account, not that anything will. So once you've done all that, go ahead and hit next step. So at this screen, we can go ahead and add a profile photo if we want to. That's up to you. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, you could either take one with the camera on your computer or upload one from your computer. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next step. And it now tells us that we have a Google account, which is also a YouTube account. You can see you will get an email address to go along with your account. You don't have to use it, but it's going to exist. And if you want to directly go right back to YouTube and start commenting, liking, subscribing to videos, go ahead and hit the Back to YouTube button. It's going to take you to your homepage. And this little screen is going to pop up that says, Welcome to your homepage. It's going to give you a little bit of a tour of what you can do with your YouTube homepage. And basically, what this page is, is it's where videos are going to populate when you subscribe to channels. So let's say you subscribe to Ants and Alex's channel, my channel here on YouTube. All of a sudden I post a new video. My video is going to appear on your homepage. So you can read through this. You can connect your Facebook and Twitter account if you want. What that will do is it'll allow it so that if you like a video or comment on a video, you can have it automatically post to Facebook and Twitter. Most people aren't going to want that. I tend to do it for my business account because if I upload a video, I want it to show up on Facebook and Twitter so all my followers can see. Um, so that's really up to you and you can kind of go through this whole tour here. I'm going to close it out, but I would definitely, if this is your first time creating a YouTube account, which I'm assuming it is, I would definitely go through this whole tour here. Just go ahead and hit next and go through that, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to hit close and now we're back here at the YouTube homepage. So you can see as I subscribe to videos, they're going to show up down here at the bottom. Now, these are just very popular videos right now, so they are appearing anyways because I don't have any of my own subscriptions. Um, so we're just looking at popular on YouTube. But you now have a YouTube account. Uh, if you want to learn more on how to customize your account and, and set some things up, set up usernames, actually subscribe to channels, and, and upload videos and things like that, stay tuned for later on here in 2013. I plan on definitely producing some more in-depth YouTube tutorials, but you've now got a YouTube account, so now you can go ahead and comment, subscribe to channels, like videos, all of that sort of thing. Uh, so I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. No excuses, I know you have a YouTube account. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.